Hey everyone! From Financial Futures I'm back with another video to dive into the nitty-gritty of the stalled child tax credit. I mean, seriously, it's moving slower than syrup, and we're also going to unpack some exciting news about tax refunds. There's a state proposing a whopping $110,000 in child tax credit, and we've got proposals for child care and daycare credits. So, if you want the 411 on the fascinating world of child taxes, you know the drill stay tuned, guide you covered. But first, if you're new here, welcome on this channel. We chat about everything from shopping to saving and everything in between. I'd love to have you join my internet family, and it's as simple as hitting that big red subscribe button down below. And of course, don't forget to show some love by giving me a like. Now, let's dive into the juicy stuff because seriously, what's going on in the Senate? Why the stalling on Capitol Hill with this child tax credit? It's stressing me out, and the lack of direction from Congress on the $78 billion tax package is not just making tax season a headache for millions of taxpayers and small business owners who need those credits. It's hitting low-income families the hardest. So, Chuck Schumer is in the mix, working with his colleagues, trying to get things done pronto. Tax season is well underway since Monday, January 29. People are filing, waiting on their money, but there's still that group navigating the thin margin, wondering about credits, refunds, amendments, the whole shebang. And honestly, it's downright irresponsible of Congress to delay the voting. Taxpayers need those bigger tax refunds if the bill does pass. But hey, before getting your hopes up for that tax refund, you gotta decide file now or wait for more guidance. Now, let's talk child tax credit and how it affects your money. It's not about the child tax credit per se, but the additional child tax credit because that's the refundable part. If you're claiming the earned income tax credit or additional child tax credit, expect your refund by February 27, as per the IRS. If you've filed online, selected direct deposit, and had no issues or fraud, you're golden. No delay, you're in there like swimwear. Breaking it down Barney style, let's say you made $50,000, owed $5,000 in taxes without the child tax credit. With one child, your tax credit is $2,000, so you'd owe $3,000. No worries, no delay. But if you made $20,000, owed $700, and claimed that one kid for a $2,000 credit, the IRS owes you $1,300. It's refundable, and by law, the IRS has to hold on to those funds until mid-February to check for fraud or identity theft. Now, there's a lot of buzz about refunds being processed this week. Most affected taxpayers who filed early will get their refunds. Some folks are checking their IRS transcripts, seeing payment dates like February 15 or 18. Transaction codes like 810 might mean issues so check your IRS account or portal for updates. The average tax refund this season is almost 29% lower than previous year's early data, folks, so take it with a grain of salt. And speaking of states stepping up, Wisconsin is proposing a $10,000 child tax credit. It's got bipartisan support, heading to the Senate, aligning with federal statutes. Wisconsin's on a roll with three other bills tax exemption for retirement income, increased tax credits for married couples $480 to $870. The state's making moves, and it's exciting to see. Also, Democratic senators are introducing the Child and Independent Care Tax Credit Enhancement of 2024. They're doubling the credit $4,000 for one child. $8,000 for two or more. It's aimed at supporting families grappling with childcare costs, making the credit more accessible to low-income families by making it refundable. And hey, 
If you're in Maine and were affected by severe storms and flooding on December 17, 2023, your taxes are postponed until June 17. It's a bit of relief for those dealing with the aftermath. So, what do you think about the stalled bill in Congress? Have you already submitted your taxes, or are you waiting it out? And of course, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later, Gator. Bye, guys.